today I'm gonna show you the best prosciutto in the world. My name is Marco Alberti. This is Marco. And he's gonna show us how his family makes one of the best prosciuttos in the world. I represent the fifth generation of this uh, company called uh, Alberti La Casa del Prosciutto. And we are located here right in the city center of San Daniele. Where is San Daniele? San Daniele, it is in Friuli Venezia Giulia. It is a small town in the top of the hill. There are three famous producers of ham worldwide. Iberico, Parma and San Daniele. So how is it exactly that this small family business can compete with the best in the world? Let's let Marco tell us all about it. We are in the city center of San Daniele. We always have been here since 117 years. We have a very nice garden right in the middle of the city and we are on top. So we are at 250 meters over the sea level. Another important thing about the microclimate of San Daniele is the fact that we have the Tagliamento River, which passes right close to, to our hill. And this gives a bit of humidity. There are two winds meeting here, which is the one coming up from Trieste, from the sea, and the one coming down from the Alps, from the border that we have with, with Austria, basically. So they meet in this hilly part of the region of Friuli. They saw that this um, aging process was better here. By the way, this is Luca, Marco brother. In camera, il fratello, <laughs> the brother. <laughs> Before entering, we had to get suited up. And this, of course, gave Alessio a new identity. I'm a doctor. Doctor. <laughs> there are eight steps for arrive to the best prosciutto. Let's break it down. Step number one, salting and cooling. The legs rest under salt for one day for every kilo that they weigh. It's not important the amount of salt that we put on them, but the time in which salt stays in contact with the meat. Step number two, pre-reposo. Here's where the meat rests. and they start developing a bit of mold. Yep, you heard that right. And this brings us to step number three. You see how much they changed. They rest at a higher temperature while developing a mold that gives prosciutto its distinctive flavor. This is something that we want to happen, but something that we also have to control. Step number four, the dryer. In this phase, after wash out the mold, we're gonna put the prosciutto in this room to dry all the water inside. Step number five, the pre-aging room. They're covered in a protective cream and left to age for another month. They are very dried, so they are ready to go on with the next phase. We go up to the second floor. Step number six. This step is gonna shocking, but now Marco gonna tell everything about it. This is just nature going on. It might be strange for you, for, for most of people, because there are some mites developing on the surface. Did he say mites? And they create some small holes and they are positive for us. By creating these small holes, they make the, the meat respire a bit. Let's see if we can find any mites somewhere. Okay, dai, let's see. Do you see any? No. Uh, wait a second. I think I see some. Where? Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Let's go back to the video. I love it. It's the perfect environment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> prosciutto. Yeah, prosciutto environment. <laughs> so here we are in the last, almost last uh, stage. Step number seven. From this, they turn to this. They use a kind of meat play-doh called stucco, made from the fat of the meat, and they press it onto the surface to continue protecting it as it goes through its final aging process. So I make prosciutto like this. Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Doctor prosciutto. Uh, yeah, Doctor prosciutto. <laughs> this is very important for you to check. Final step, ragazzi. The stamp of the San Daniele ham. Okay. Always have a look at this when they tell you this is a San Daniele ham. Here Marco was telling us about the final step they take to make sure they have the perfect product. They use an old tool, horse bone, to pierce the meat and to smell it to make sure it's perfect. Because it's porous, it doesn't contaminate from piece to piece. This is one of the most ancient uh, things that we do in San Daniele and it's still the most efficient that we have. Mm, that sounds good! Another one. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yes. 
approved. Approved. <laughs> From Dr. Prashita. From Dr. Prashita, I approve. I have such a, a big appreciation for this now. Like yeah. to know the whole process. Yeah, is now it? you have to eat it. I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let's go eat it. Okay. Let's go. At this point, after our tour, we are so hungry and ready to fill our bellies with some delicious prosciutto. United States, you just maybe three company send a container the prosciutto, but with standard about the United States, not the standard the Italy. It's really hard to find real prosciutto sardiniere. Actually, you find prosciutto sardiniere. Of course, we're in Italy, so we have to start off with some delicious wine and some really good bread. Con il re, with the king. Wow. The bottom is the saltiest part, and you go up to the sweet. Yeah. Oh my God. I know what this is. This is good, the more You have to try it. You did such a nice swirly thing when you did it. You swirl it up like that and then... Go ahead. Smell it. <laughs> Wait a second. The noche was already blowing just in mind. It's like you asked, right? I've never... No. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I've never eaten anything like that in my life. Even the prosciutto that we've had in other no, areas. I mean, no, no, not my areas too. No, this is a totally different experience. It's melting mouth, it's soft, it's thick, it's delicate, it's salty. I'm in shock because I wasn't expecting that yeah. taste. I wasn't expecting that flavor when I put it on my mouth. I'm sorry I said I didn't like prosciutto before because I changed my mind just yeah, right it's here. the best. This is incredible. It is the best. Incredible. Wow. Next, I got to try the fiocco. This is the heart of the leg. It's a little bit sweeter than the noche, and it's delicious. First of all, he said it was a different taste, and I thought, how different can it be? It's from the same thing, you know? Totally different. Totally different. I don't know which one I like better. Oh my god. I don't know. It's really good. I'm ready to try okay. it. You can own even two. Yep. You can own even two. And now the sweetest part. You're gonna love oh, this. Oh, that's it. How is it going? It's. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot Grazie. believe it's it's so good. You like it's, it? it's amazing. Grazie. Yes. Finish it off. Nothing bad here. Nothing bad. What else to say? Mangiamo mori. Mangiamo mori. This is the best. If you like prosciutto. Anyway, because you can change mine mm -hmm. for your first life. I'm speechless. This is what it is. This is what eating in Italy is all about. Eccolo qua. We have also a small trial of uh, the salami and the speck that we also produce. Ready? Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Our is awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> speck. The sardiniere. It's melting again. Yep, it's melting again. Here, everything is melting. You never eat a speck like this? Never. In your life? Never. Me either. Because it's the first time you eat speck in San Daniele. <laughs> Where's the guy can eat a hog again? Ragazzi, just cosa dire? We siamo qui in San Daniele and siamo in cello. Pisu, the la mamma, <laughs> and uh, guba, the most guba. typical sweet from Friuli. So this is gubana, typical. the most typical dessert in Friuli. Oh my gosh. This is no water. This is gappa. <laughs> gappa, gappa di prugne. Oh wow. Ece, dieci, pienti, astiali, udi. How can I describe this to somebody who's never had it before? It's like a sweet bread, not a cake, more like a sweet bread, filled with cinnamon, walnuts, and raisins, rolled up, topped with a little powdered sugar, and it is amazing. <laughs> 
and then this will kill you. <laughs> so I missed this part, but. <laughs> you have a from the mom. You can already tell it's gonna be good. <laughs> I need three cups of this. The mums. Un ringraziamento a tutte le mamme del mondo che ogni giorno ci preparano dei piatti meravigliosi con tutto il loro amore. Dov'è la mamma? Ti gli diamo un bacio. Da. Oh, one. Ah? Huh? It's delicious. I told you we need, need three, three. <laughs> three cups. We had an amazing time with the Alberti family at La Casa del Prosciutto. The hard work and passion of five generations is evident in their quality product and their love of sharing it with every customer that walks through the door. If you're ever in the San Daniele area, we highly recommend stopping by for a tour and the unforgettable experience of eating some of the best prosciutto in the world.